This song you don't know, but you can learn very easy. Open my eyes, Lord. Open my eyes. Hey. Open my eyes, Lord. Hey. Open my eyes. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. Open my eyes, oh, oh. Let me see. Ah. Uh, uh. Open my eyes, oh. Ah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Open my eyes. Open my eyes, Lord. Open my eyes. Let me see in the spirit. Let me see. Hey. Open my eyes, Lord. Let me see. Let me see somebody open up your mouth and help me open my eye, Lord. Yeah. Open my eyes. Hey, hey, open my eyes. Let me see. Hallelujah. 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 You may be seated. As I look back on your mother this morning, and I, I'm so moved. It may be normal to you now, but I'm so moved. Mobilizing the saints for the work of the ministry and it so strongly buttress what God has been doing as ministers and preachers most of us have like a thousand sermons I have to say it like it is amen but God has helped me to prioritize to ensure that in the little time I have I try to climax. Most church people do things mediocre. We will think it's spiritual. God want to make you rich, you don't want to be rich. Hmm. But God has been dealing with me to climax, to, to the, the speed those climb. You think that seven billion people is a lot on the earth. God told me it's not a lot. I mean seven with a B. And we have all kinds of a strategy. How oh, can I reach the seven billion? And we tried it. We tried all kinds of a ways. And God told me it's not a lot. Because you're anointed to reach them all. Hello. It's not mathematical. It's not statistical. It is spiritual. Hallelujah. And I hear God says, Oh, what? Well, purpose and job and task must to reach every sinner wow wow I thought it all the ones in my community and down the road hey first assembly God told me to remind you your job is for every sinner to become a believer most not going to become, but you must ensure that when you are finished, you are given all for every sinner to become a believer. Are you with me, somebody? Not only that, the second.
important thing is for every believer <laughs> to become a preacher. I didn't say a pastor, that's tough. I didn't say a bishop, that's tough. Am I losing you? I didn't say an apostle, that is tough. And when you become a preacher, that is not your pulpit, it's the street, is your pulpit. It's the bus stop, is your pulpit. Come on, don't compete against the pastor for his pulpit. I don't care if you don't like me. After I preach here, I'm gone. But don't worry yourself. We stay with the Bible. Amen. Amen. So your job is for every sinner to become a believer. You gonna try? And for every believer to become a preacher. Uh huh. It is one now. And for every preacher to become a seer, a seer, a visionary, a prophet. Say amen, first assembly. Say amen, world. For the whole world watching you right now. So it's the whole world having church this morning. Am I right? Amen. So God deals with me and say yes. For every sinner to become a believer, and every believer to become a preacher, and every believer and every preacher to become a seer. Now, everyone will, it will happen to everyone. But you must, must understand that that must be your climax effort. The church must quit the mediocre purpose and plan. That when it's finished, you know you did your, your best. So if it didn't work, you don't worry. Are you with me, church? And I hear God said today, as we get ready to become seers, I hear the Lord say we must receive the gift of prophecy. Why? Because prophecy is the greatest gift. Most of you just want to become singers and healers and musicians. Come on. And that's all good. But according to the scripture, the greatest gift is to prophesy. Come on, somebody. Did you know that most of the Bible is just prophecy? Even the way the earth was made and man was made, old, and God said, it's prophetic. Let there be. It's prophetic. Are you there? If you ever understand that the, the, the Bible virtually is just prophecy. What God did is give Christians a realm that the others can't get. <laughs> and it's the prophetic. No matter how much they say they are a religion, they can't handle the prophetic. They don't know what's coming. So I hear God says, we must release upon the church the climax of the prophetic. Ooh, Hallelujah. Receive the gift of prophecy. You see, while I'm speaking, I have to stop when the Holy Ghost says stop. So begin to receive from now. You see, there's a verse in the Bible that says, do not covet your neighbor's wife. Do not covet your neighbor's husband. But there is something that God says you can't co you can covet. You don't dare tell me. You don't dare tell me what you can covet. Don't get upset right now. Come on, somebody. Can anybody dare tell me? <laughs> oh, glory to God. Glory. If you ever get this, it's okay. I don't need to preach again. Come on, somebody. God said, covet to prophesy. My God, my God, my God. This is serious. God said, don't covet your wife, your neighbor's wife and husband. But God said, covet to prophesy. God says in 1 Thessalonians 5, 22, he says, despise not prophesying. I'm not talking about becoming a prophet yet. Because to become a prophet, you can't miss one time. Come on, somebody. But you can be a watcher. You can be a seer. You can be a prophesier. Are you with me, somebody? You can be a messenger. You have to get started. As you get one prophecy right, don't uh, go and announce that you're a prophet. You'll be ashamed. Are you with me, somebody? 
So let's get started. I hear God said to prophesy church. I know it's tough, it's difficult, but God said we must get into that realm. Uh, because all the those who claim to be God can't handle that realm. <laughs> Come on. So I hear God say, though you speak in tongues, come on, I rather, hallelujah, that you prophesy. Say amen with me. Say amen with me. Say in the name of Jesus, I receive the gift of prophecy. Give him praise. Give him praise. Some of you are getting upset already. The back! Bible said it's okay to speak in tongues but greater is he that prophesied this thing is serious there's got to be a reason why God has so much superlative language for prophecy hey well Moses met with the church and when Moses met with the church, God took up the spirit of Moses. And you see, the sermons of God in this church are already prophetic. I don't go around. I know what's going on. I'm already prophetic. And when we finish, God going to have you release that prophetic anointing. Every man of God, every pastor, every apostle, every, every, come on, every bishop already have the prophetic anointing. And when they lay a hand upon it, it's all over. Acts 19 verse 6, he says, And when Paul lay hands on the people, they spoke in tongues and most of us only want to speak in tongues when hand lay on us. When we come to the altar to, to tarry for the Holy Ghost, all we want is tongues. Did you know the Bible says that when Paul lay hands, they spoke in tongues and come on, this, this is powerful. Hey! So Paul met with the church. Hey, and God took up the spirit that Paul, Moses. So God took up the spirit of Moses and put it upon the elders. And they began to prophesy. Somebody say prophesy. But while they began to prophesy, there were some members who joined the church lately. And they were in the back. And they began to prophesy too. And the main elder say, say, Moses, no, no, no. They are not supposed to prophesy. It's only we. Come on, somebody. And Moses said, not at all. Come on. Moses said, prophecy is too important. Moses said, I would that all God's people were prophets. You're not listening to me, assembly. Are you getting me? Did you hear that all word? Did you hear that all word? Don't fight it. Hallelujah. So here goes a charge. I know it's tough. And you feel unqualified. And you feel it can never happen to you. All you do is enjoy newspaper. And enjoy school books. And enjoy library books. No, no, no. God said that is the realm. That's the realm of academic humanism. And that's all right. But God said, I want to bring my church into a realm that they can't fathom. Come on, somebody. Say amen. amen. Are you saying amen? amen? Are you saying amen? amen? A lot of information passed through the internet. Am I right? But they cannot hack it. But when God talks to you, they can't hack that. Come on, somebody. You ain't talking to me, assembly. Hallelujah. Somebody said they can't hack that. Some of them, they can't hurt that. God says in Isaiah 50 and verse 4, He wake you morning by morning to teach your ears to hear. Come on, but you, you already been to school. You already, you already been to university. You already have your degree. You already know how to read good. But God said, He wake you morning by morning. Hallelujah. To teach your ears. I thought you know everything. To hear like the learning. Hey! Most of you when you wake up in the morning, oh, you run down to make some tea. Come on, somebody. Are you lying down in bed and fret all the, the next two hours? Come on, somebody. Anytime you wake up three in the morning. Come on. You know what? I, you know what I'm doing with my sermon right now? I'm starting from the back because I don't, I don't know if I'm, I, I'm starting from the last point. 
They never hear a sermon like this in your life. Come on, somebody. Amen. He said, when you wake up three in the morning, when you get up, go down on your knees. And say, speak, Lord. Thy servant hear it. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Somebody say, in the name of Jesus. Come on, open your mouth right now. One part of prophecy is learning to open your mouth. You can't be shy and scared. God said, open your mouth and I will fill it. Hey, 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 hey. He said, open your mouth and I will fill it with words. Practice to open your mouth. Make your response mightier than the report. Come on, somebody. When you learn to make your response mightier than report, God see that you want to promote him. Hey! Why prophesy? Why prophesy? Why commit to prophesy? First, because prophecy proves that Jesus is God Almighty. Oh yeah. The Bible says in Isaiah 41 verse 23 to verse 26 God challenged the whole world. God challenged all religions. Come on somebody. And God says if ye be gods tell of things to come. Church I'm going to listen to me very carefully. He said, yes, you feed the homeless. You house the homeless. You feed the hungry. You clothe the naked. And anybody can do that. Any unbeliever can do that. Any religion can do that. Am I right? But God said to be God, the qualification is very high. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. To be God, you have to speak what is to come. So in Isaiah 41, 23 to 26, God says, if he be God, tell what is to come. These villagers don't dare begin to prophesy. The day they begin to publish their prophecy is the end of their religion. Because it will not come to pass. Are you saying amen with me? Are you saying amen with me? But Jesus says in John chapter 13, verse 19, he said, Behold, I tell you these things before they come to pass, that when they come to pass, you will know that I am he. Ooh. Are you listening to me? Hallelujah. I'm going to give you the things to come that nobody else can give you. You're going to discover who is God because what I prophesy will come to pass. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why prophesy? Why receive the gift of prophecy? Because it proved that Jesus Christ is God Almighty. Say amen. Say amen. And it says in Acts 4 and verse 12, Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Somebody say, why prophesy? Tell your neighbor why. Come on, come on, help me. You're not going to leave it on me right now. Why prophesy? Tell your neighbor why. It proved Jesus Christ is God Almighty. Say amen. Say amen. Number two. Number two. Why prophesy? Because it proved that you are the sons of God. Are you listening to me? The Bible says in, uh, in Romans 1, 1 12. Am I right? It says as many as receive him. Help me out. To them gave he power. Oh my gosh. To become the sons of God. Hallelujah. And God says, because you are my sons, not only will I prophesy as God Almighty, but I will release that anointing and power upon my sons. Hallelujah. Say amen, sons. I mean daughters too. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. 
I receive the gift of prophecy. God said in Amos 3 and verse 7, God said, I will do nothing unless I reveal it unto my servants, the prophets. Are you working with me? You know, I'm going a, a little calm because I'm a very crazy preacher. But I have two more time to preach today, so I don't want to miss nothing. I want you to get it. So excuse me for being calm. You should have come Wednesday if you want noise. <laughs> Glory to God. So listen. God said, listen to me. You take yourself normal. You want to be some normal Christian. You want to be just like, like somebody who knows something. Oh no! God says, sons and daughters, I have released the anointing upon you to prophesy. He says in John chapter 16, he said, when I go and I will send another comforter and he will come and he will guide you into all truth. This is the Holy Ghost filled church. I know when I land in one, come on somebody. And God said, not only will you be full of the anointing of this comforter, but he says, I will tell you of things to come. Don't throw away this part. I know it's kind of tough, but get started. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. If you are ready to get started, lift up your hand. Come on. Come on, assembly. Look at that. Look at that. Come on, camera. Take them. Come on, camera. Let the whole world see them. Let America see them. Mighty see us. Yes, wave those hands. Wave those hands. The devil is a liar. He don't like this. He only want normal Christian with regular education. But we are arising beyond education. Rupa Shata. Though education is good. But we are arising with the prophetic anointing of God Almighty. Receive it. Receive it. Hey! God says in John chapter 18 verse 37 those who know the truth hear my voice come on you want to think that well you know it gotta be some man who come to my church this morning and steam coming out of his ears and he looked deep in the spirit it's only he can hear from God the devil is a liar Come on, somebody here. Come on. I lift your hand if you know the truth. Come on. This is, a, this is a true church. Wave those hands. Wave those hands. Put them down now. God said, those who know the truth, hear my voice. Hallelujah. God says, my sheep. Come on. You still talking about? So he said, my sheep, hear my voice. And they follow me. Lift your hand if you're the sheep. Come on. Or maybe you're the one fighting the past. Uh, if you're sheep, wave your hand. Come on. My God, look at those hands. Look at those hands. Uh, somebody praise him. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Why prophesy? Because prophecy proved that Jesus is God. Prophecy proves that you are the sons of God. Write this verse down, Lamentations chapter 3, verse 47. God said, a prophecy will, do, will not dare come true except it come from God. This is exclusive. We don't have time to talk about it. I'm not talking about guessing one or two times and get something right. I'm talking about getting it right all the time. Yeah, it has to be all the time to be from God. Oh my God of mercy. Hallelujah. Somebody say, in the name of Jesus. I receive the gift of prophecy. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Why prophesy? Number three prophecy disarms the enemies of God 
The Bible says there was a war going on between the king of Syria and Israel. And every time Israel win the war. So the king of Syria got mad with his captains. And he said, it seems like you are against me. It seems like you are working with Israel. It seems like you are traitors. So one of the captains said, no king, hold on king, no. We are not traitors. But there is a prophet in Israel. Hallelujah. That every time you stay in your bedchamber and make your plans, he read your plans by the Holy Ghost and tell Israel what is your plans. So because of that, Israel can preemptive strike you. Ah! Hallelujah. Why prophesy? It disarm the enemies of God. It disarm your enemies. Hallelujah. You need to know when they're planning to fire you. You don't live normal. You don't live by trial and error. Come on church. Come on church. Come on church. Come on church. Under the Holy Ghost, you know when to take a bus instead of taxi today. I'm taking no taxi today. Because in the night, God gave me a vision and I see a taxi crash. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, first assembly. There's a reason why God releasing this upon you. Because he's war in Babylon. God always, God always target a ministry church. And me too, me too. <laughs> Glory to God. Always target a ministry church. You can't be a ministry church and stay the same way. No. No. God got you. Come on somebody. On his antenna. I said trouble coming. Rapakata. Trouble coming to the devil's camp. For God has seen your ministry. God has seen your burden. God has seen your purpose. God has seen your excellence. And God tells me I'm about to raise up this ministry church. This ministry move in this part of the Caribbean to speak to the world. You didn't hear that part. You didn't hear that part. You only want to speak to Guyana. Huh? Who ba 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 ba? God has anointed you to speak to the whole wide world. And God says, You will not be surprised by the enemy's plans. Come on. God will visit you and disarm your enemies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They can make all the plan what they want to plan. When the enemy come in like a flood. Come on, come on, Guyana. Help me here. I don't want to make no noise right now. But I feel some noise. Shiba Hata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone say, in the name of Jesus, I receive the gift of prophecy. Sit down if you can. Don't waste it. Some of you just sit down and go into the message. I don't care. I don't care who like me. I want to know when I leave, you get it all. Don't just sit to the. You're going to be sorry. You're going to need that revelation. You're going to need to know when you must cancel the plane ticket. You're going to need to know that you're standing right at the, the reception and they're looking about your ticket and you say, I changed my mind. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Because the prophetic is upon you. Revelation knowledge is upon you. The anointing to see ahead, hallelujah, is upon you.
upon you there is nothing as powerful come on somebody and let me just tell you something don't be impressed by voodoo people uh, and they call it obi in my country they don't call it like you have a nicer name here obi right here come on don't be impressed with them uh, you hear that they say some might be so always hidden if you investigate it good it's not credible it's always something my auntie you know uncle grandma you know something happened they said they know lie you put it right in the front how do i know haiti has the most voodoo people in the west do respect to haiti don't misunderstand me but they have the most voodoo workers in the western hemisphere when the earthquake came where were they when the earthquake was coming to haiti where were they but people gone to give them money come on somebody hey hey give me the nine toe book if you have one there oh glory to god they can't prophesy they can't prophesy but god's people can hallelujah give god praise give god praise Give God praise. Stand up, Reverend Art. Stand up, Reverend Art. In 2009, December 31, right in our church, we prophesied Haiti earthquake. He came to the church for the first time. And when he see it happen 10 days later, in January 10, he never leave the church since. Sit down. You're not following me. You're not following me. <laughs> They can prophesy, but you can. God's people can. Lift your hand and receive the gift of prophecy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put down your hand. Shortly after Haiti came another major earthquake in Chile, right in South America. Half a million buildings destroyed. Thousands dead. February 28th. 2010 this book was published 2009 it is right in here it is right in here one mighty preacher in central america when he look in the book and see the prophecy he got 30,000 members he said i want this man immediately because that's the moment come out of the regular realm church get into the prophetic the prophetic is the last language you've got to know it get to understand it get to understand the symbols get to understand the signs the enemies can't handle that language it's your secret code from god hallelujah god says in psalm 25 verse 14 the secret of the lord come on you know the verse you're helping me out is with them that fear him lift your hand oh fear god come on somebody my god look at that look at that put down your hand god said in daniel 2 22 he revealed that deep and secret things let me see your hand if you want to hear some deep things hallelujah hallelujah put your hand down god is the one who reveal the deep things he said deep call it unto deep say amen church why prophesy one because it proves that jesus is god two it proves that you are the sons of god three it disarms the enemies of God. Somebody lift your hands and praise him. Somebody lift your hands and praise him. Why prophesy? Put your hands down. Number four, it saves lives. Yes, yeah, simple as that. Prophecy saves lives. Do not fight against prophecy. Demand that it be correct. 
but do not fight against it judge it try it test it come on somebody here yeah. oh, but don't despise it test it judge it but don't throw it out throw it out when it fail the bible is the mirror of prophecy there must be confirmation there must be proof a lot of evidence come on it's like a courthouse come on somebody every prophet after going to god's courthouse he don't speak until he win in god's courthouse my god of mercy here hallelujah hallelujah number four why prophesy it saves lives say amen say amen the bible says in proverbs 29 and verse 18 he says where there is no vision that people perish if this church was not here you would see what would have happened some who want to take it for granted you don't know that this was a vision sent by god to save many from the grave to save many from confusion to save many from mental illness are you with me somebody and now that you are in it you feel all right and may take it for granted no this happened because of a vision before that was put into action through many dangers toil and sneer through many challenges glory to god but when god said i've sent a vision he that hath begun a good work come on say amen will perform it unto the very end the bible says there was a man called jonah and god told jonah he was about to destroy nineveh and the bible said jonah went and he went to Nineveh and told them that unless you repent, Nineveh will be destroyed. And the king heard of the prophecy and called the nation together. Call even the very animals and call for repentance. And they turned to God and God speared Nineveh. God wants to spear Guyana. God want to spear the Caribbean. God want to spear the world. And God is looking for ten. Come on somebody. You're not with me somebody. God is looking for ten who is willing to be his voice. Oh my God, my God, my God. And he will save Guyana. Say amen Guyana. Say amen Guyana. Why prophesy? It saved life stand up everybody hallelujah 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 why prophesy number one what does it do it proves that jesus is god almighty number two it proves that you are the sons of god number three it disarms the enemies of God. For it saved life. And finally for today. Why prophesy? Because prophecy is the sign of end time revival. Prophecy is the sign of world revival. World revival can be shared by the Hindu. And I'm not here to bash them this morning. World revival can be shared by Rastafarians. World revival can be shared by Islam. World revival can be shared. It's exclusive to God's people. And that's why God lifts the standard that only believers can receive. Only believers can manifest. Hey! 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 But God says in the last days it would not just be the bishop. It would not just be the apostle. It would not just be the pastor. God said I would swamp the earth with my word. I'm going to give them revelation. I'm going to give them language. I'm going to give them vision. I'm going to give them dream. I'm going to give them word of knowledge. I'm going to give them word of wisdom. I'm going to give them word of counsel. I'm going to give them word of might. I'm going to give them revelation. I'm going to give them leading. I'm going to give them impression. I'm going to give them divine order. Exclusive.
exclusive only to Christians. Every Christian lift your hand. Every Christian lift your hand. Look there. Look there. Look there. This is the world shaking. Wave those hands. This is the world shaking. It's trouble. It's trouble. Hi! An army of seers. Hey! With your hands lifted. Hear the Bible. Don't hear Bishop Collins. Hear the Bible. God says in Joel 2 verse 28. In the last days. Hallelujah. I will pour out. Of my spirit. Upon all flesh. All men who dream dreams. Young men who see visions. And your sons. And your daughters. Shall. Prophesy. Lift your hands in the air. And say Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive, I receive, I receive the gift of prophecy upon me right now from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, my body, my mind, my spirit, my soul, my church, my environment. I receive the gift of prophecy upon me now 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 open them out now 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 give him praise keep standing hallelujah hallelujah yeah here is the last part now while you keep standing you see most of us want to prophesy but in order to be effective and to get it quick you have to know what to prophesy first the first thing you prophesy is the gospel is the coming of the Lord is that a prophecy? Jesus is coming again. The day of the Lord, come on, you're helping me, is at hand. Is that prophecy? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him shall not, is not that a prophecy? But have everlasting life. So you want to begin to prophesy and never miss? never miss never be wrong number one prophesy the gospel tell people jesus is coming be the modern john the baptist and say jesus is coming are you ready church are you ready church are you ready to prophesy i'm gonna count from one to three and you're gonna prophesy john chapter 3 verse 16 are you ready Say yes. yes. Come on, open your mouth and say yes. yes. Now watch me now, just in case you don't understand. The Bible says in Revelation 19 verse 10, it says the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. So when you testify of Jesus, the spirit of prophecy come upon you. The anointing, the prophesy come upon you. Because the Lord can trust you to begin to the highest form. To begin with the highest form. And because you prophesy the highest form, he can trust you to tell you the rest. He can trust you to tell you when earthquake coming. He can trust you to tell you when disease coming. God revealed right there in New York when Ebola was coming. Go online and type Ebola. And type of his army, you'll see the prophecy. God allow us to prophesy ISIS. God allow us to prophesy September 11. 
God allow us to prophesy the hurricane that does the Caribbean recently and went to Nicaragua and Panama. God allow us to prophesy Italy. God allow us to prophesy that woman in America that killed a lot of people. Come on, somebody. God allow it not because we are anybody, but because God looking for somebody to receive it. Come on, somebody. God has spoken. Who can but prophesy? Oh, yeah. Oh yes, are you ready? First assembly. Watch me now. You, your church right now is being used as a teacher to the world right now. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Your church right now, because of what is already established, is being seen as a model. And when the world see you, they are gonna be mobilized by your response. Because your response is mightier than the report. Are you ready to prophesy John 3 verse 16? Say yes if you're ready. Say yes now. Now you got to open your mouth. You got to make noise. You got to move your hands. You got to move your feet. You got to wrinkle your face like a mad with the devil. And quote John chapter 3 verse 16. Are you ready? Are you ready? Say yes. One, two, three, four. God. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Did you hear that? My God, my God, my God. My God. Hey, 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 hey. My God, my God. War in Babylon! War in Babylon! Shibaba! There you now! He's about to shake! Shiba! Shiba! There you now! He's about to shake by the prophetic power! One more time and it's all over. One more time is all over. Are you ready, Guyana? Move out to your seat if you can. Walk around if you can. And open your mouth. And God gonna fill it with more words. One, two, three, four. Go ahead. Come on. Again, again, again. Go again. Go again. Go again. Hey, go again. Take it. Go again. Go again. Receive it. Hold on, hold on, somebody. Hold on, somebody. Hold on. Go again. Come on. For God so loved the world. Come on. Go ahead. Come on. Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey. Shabba, baba, baba, baba. Go ahead. Shiba ba 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 ba. Shiba ba 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 ba. Go ahead. Go ahead. Give him praise. 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 Who ba 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 ba. Give him praise. Prophesy. 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 Receive it. Receive it. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Men of God, lay your hand on them, you can. Bishop, approve who you ever to lay hands on the people. Lift up your hand, everybody. The Bible says in Acts 19 and verse 6 when Paul lay hands on the people, they spoke in tongues and prophesy, receive, receive, receive. Receive, receive it now, receive it now. Open the mouth, receive it now. Prophesy, receive it now. Take it, take it, receive it now, receive it now. Prophecy, receive it. Go back to prophecy, take it back right now. Open the mouth, it's all over. Open the mouth, and I will fill it with words. Take it. Take it. Take it. 
Take it. Take it. Take it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Take it right now. Prophesy. 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 Shiva Papa. Prophesy. 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 Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Revelation. Word of wisdom. Word of knowledge. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Take it. Take it. Take it. Ah! Take it. Oh, Papa, Papa, Papa. Oh, Grabasa. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Now. Sheba, Baba. Now. Sheba, Baba. Ha, ha. Take it. Receive it. Don't be afraid. Receive it. Receive it. Now. Revelation. Prophecy. Take it. Take it. Take it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Take it. Revelation. Yes. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Hey! Take it. Take it. Revelation. Revelation. Tongues and prophecy. Tongues and prophecy. Tongues and prophecy. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it, my friend. Take it, my friend. It is them out. Open them up. Open begin to praise man. The spirit is up on me. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Receive it, receive it, my friend. Receive it now, receive it now, now, now. Oh, Shiva, oh, Rabasha, la ba 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 ba, oh ba ba sha, oh ba 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 ba, Shiva ba 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 ba, Rabasha. Receive it, receive it. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Say, in the name of Jesus, I receive the gift of prophecy upon me right now. For it is written, those who hunger and thirst of the righteousness shall be filled. In the name of Jesus, I am filled with the gift of prophecy give him praise give him praise hey! lift your hands lift your hands all over this house lift your hands all over this house He that had an ear to hear. He that had an ear to hear. Let him hear what the Spirit said here today. You are not here by accident. God orchestrated your steps to come to this house today. The Spirit of the Living God ministered in such a clear way about the importance of prophecy. About our own responsibility. I believe in taking responsibility for what we have heard. We will make this point by point message available to you on hard copy. And that's the cheapest way for us to do it. 
but the most responsible way at the same time. All the main points of this message will be available by the end of, that sec of the second service today. And so we are going to give you point by point. Why? Because this is a defining moment in your life, in this ministry. A prophet is without honor in his own country. Many of you have heard things here today that you have heard God spoke clearly. But we treat this, we dismiss this as normal when we come into the house. Both Wednesday night and, and this morning, the Lord redirected us to this. And so many times we walk away. It's not about popularity. I, I am not, I'm not, and I, I, I like the preacher. We're not concerned about whether you like it or not. If I was interested in that, I would enter a beauty pageant. <laughs> this is a signal word from God today. And I want you to make sure you got a copy of it. The scribes have already working. One, two, three, and you're going to pull it together. You might be able to get it in the office. I want you to collect it. Because God told his servant to come and declare this in our midst today. God knew that you were going to be here. Ask him, what will you have me do? When you heard this word, what will you have me do? The leadership met yesterday, and we, as we embraced some concepts. We believe, and we heard, and we felt the shift that God is bringing into this ministry. And here we are today, and God validating and God giving direction. You want to know why you're waking up at 3 o'clock? Thank you very much, sir. We will do warfare.